All right, so here we go for some uh, wibbly wobbly tripod vision. Uh, this is uh, an object lesson in why you should do your homework before you uh, before you go on and do things. Pursuant to my previous video, where I was talking about power supply for the milling machine, we were talking about this, which is a, uh, a variable speed drive, and it converts mono power to three phase power to drive machine tools. Now I bought that for the milling machine. It drives. It takes 220 volts, puts out 380 volts. And then I got quite excited because, in fact, the piece that turned up is a 9600 series uh, variator VFD, which in theory can drive four four motors. Now my milling machine has a dual speed uh, uh, Darlander motor, which is effectively two motors in one. And my lathe has a two-speed Darlander motor, which is also two motors in one. And I started thinking, well, actually, maybe I can use it to drive both. Now, the lathe has a 220-volt motor, and the mill has a 380-volt motor. So let's have a quick look at what we've built. We start with a great big, um, great big circuit breaker. It's way oversized for what we need, but uh, but it's got a nice handle on the side, so we use that. It's followed by a, uh, a, little, a little circuit breaker which will break at 20 amps. Um, this isn't supposed to pull more than 10 amps, that's kind of oversized, but it's, 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 a, prote it's a protection. And it also allows me to take a, uh, uh, a 220 volt supply off of here and feed that to the machines for auxiliary stuff. Here we have a 24 volt supply which runs off of 224 uh, 220 volts there is a slight problem with these uh, with these variators in that you can't use an external 24 volt system to drive the 24 volts uh, the 24 volt signaling you have to use the internal 24 volt signaling but it doesn't have enough beef to drive contactors so it's a bit of a problem you've got two so there's effectively two 24 volt circuits running through here so 24 volts to drive contactors and relays and other contactors and other relays elsewhere. That's all so so far so good. Here we have the VFD. Now the VFD has some relay circuits on the side. One the relay circuit on the side is used to inhibit changing the uh, the motor selection downstream of the VFD while it's running. So basically while it's running that relay is energized which, re which energizes this relay this is a double relay and that inhibits a pair of contactors um, this pair of contactors here for changing the machine going from lathe to uh, to milling machine and back backwards and forwards again and then the contactors in the machines themselves for changing the speeds um, we are follow this relay is followed by a relay which deals with uh, that's the inhibi inhibition relay that's the machine selection relay that's the motor selection relay and then these last two relays deal with making sure that the uh, the controls on a machine that's not selected are not active so basically it switches between two machines switches the controls um, the only control that's left active on everything is the emergency stop and then at the bottom we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of terminal blocks. So we've got one for the lathe, and one set of terminal blocks for the milling machine, which are not uh, not connected at the moment. Now on the front panel of this we have lathe, milling machine selection, an emergency stop button, a power on button, and an it's safe to change uh, button light and an it's safe to change indicator light um, in fact it won't let you can change you can change while it's running it won't it just won't change until you stop the machine so that all works we can quite happily power this on and we can switch between machines and it switches everything over correctly so if i power up we'll wait for the power to come on okay you can hear the relays clicking and the, uh, the VFD is running, well it's not running, it's powered on. Um, we can see that it's safe to change. The bulb's blown in this one, I need to find a new one. 
24 volt, uh, 24 volt uh, bayonet bulbs, they're difficult to get hold of. If we switch, you'll see the relays here click in. And so that's, uh, that means we're now selected onto the milling machine and we've, uh, we've switched, over, switched over all the controls onto the milling machine. On the lathe itself, we have the speed selection. That switches the speed selection relay. And if this uh, the VFD was running, none of that would actually happen. So that's all good. And down here on the lathe itself, currently gutted. Is that in focus? Let's have a look. Yes, we have uh, three relay, uh, three uh, three contactors which deal with switching the Darlander motors. Two power lines coming out to go to the two sets of windings on the Darlander. Here's the power coming in. Uh, we've got a relay to deal with generating a uh, and an inversion, an inversion on the on the on these on these on these contactors the contactors themselves are in fact um, physically physically locked and then we've got a third uh, fourth contactor here which is to deal with uh, sending auxiliary power to anything that might be plugged in um, that turns off if I switch the machine as well there you go you can probably you can maybe see that switching I'm not sure battery power is about to go out isn't it it's about to stop so now we're going to talk about What's wrong with all of this? There we go, load spins up. Load shuts down. Load spins up backwards. Load shuts down and all that stuff and that's all very well but like I said there's an Ossin tot the problem is despite the fact that all the manuals for these variators say that you can use this variator to drive four motors this one can only do two. There's only settings for two motors, I can only make it run two motors, which means that all of this stuff here is irrelevant pretty much. Um, I can't use this to drive the lathe and the mill. Um, I can use it to drive the lathe, I can use it to drive the mill, I'll probably use it to drive the mill. But for the moment it's going to drive the lathe because I've torn the, uh, the lathe's drive mechanisms all apart. So there you go. Always do your homework, Kiddy Winks. Bye.